Welcome. This is the uh, end of course practice test for Algebra 2, the Tennessee end of course test. The question number 14. The question says the grid below represents a complex plane. Which complex number is the best represented by point K? Now the reality is in order to understand what's going on you have to know what a complex number is. And when I say complex, I also think of it's a complex. So in this situation, a complex number is a number where real things are happening as well as imaginary things. So imagine walking around and you see things that aren't, don't exist there. That's a serious complex that might require medication. Mathematically, it just means that we have a real number, which would be A, and an imaginary number. So your imaginary friend is following you everywhere. It's a bit like Donnie Darko, if you've ever seen that movie. Anyway. Um, in order to set it up, we have a complex plane, which works a lot like the coordinate plane, that x, y thing that you've probably seen in the past, where it's x here and y here. In this case, the x uh, equivalent is the real axis. The y equivalent is the imaginary axis. So all we need to do is figure out where the point lies on the plane, and we can figure out our complex number for the answer. It's pretty simple. Uh, first, I'm going to find my real equivalent, which, of course, is on the negative 3. So if I were to make a coordinate with this a coordinate point, I would say negative 3, and my y, if it was a coordinate plane scenario, would be 2. That's not how it really works out here, but I'm just giving you the equivalent values. Really, the negative 3 is my real number, which is a, right down here. So I'm just going to write negative 3, shockingly. And for my imaginary number on the axis, I'm going to find that it's at 2. So I'm going to put plus 2, because it's not a negative 2. And then I'll put my i after it to show that it's imaginary. I need to go and look for that answer in the set, and it comes out right out front at F. So it's a pretty simple question to get right and shouldn't really stop you from doing much good. So good luck.